everyone welcome back to my channel this video is going to be all about glowing up for 2024 not only physically but mentally giving you guys some tips and tricks on how i personally glow up mentally and physically and you guys are going to come along with me to do these nails get my hair done and do lashes and the lashes and nails are going to be home-based because we love saving money 2024 is all about saving money and it's just a reminder that keeping up with your mental health is just as important as your physical appearance. So grab a coffee, sit back, and enjoy. later. Okay, the nails are finally done. We're gonna get into the lashes, the DIY lashes. I will be using the B&Q lashes from Amazon in Ardell Clear Glue. It's eyelash curler, a spoolie, a bonder, and then some tweezers. short my hair is i feel like you know cutting off hair is like cutting off the past so i feel so much better i feel like a new person now so you guys should definitely try it but this is 
the haircut after. All right, guys, the brows, the nails, the lashes, and the hair are done. So now we can finally go through the mental tips that I have for mentally glowing up. You're probably wondering where the hell my lashes and my nails that we did together are at. Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck? It's a really long story, so I just took off my lashes because they were bugging me and there was a hair in my eye that got stuck in between like the lash glue so I took it off and I switched up my nails because I just wanted something shorter and something a little bit more red and vibrant for Valentine's Day. I have my red coconut red bowl with half and half and I also have a book where I wrote down six of my main tips to mentally glowing up so let's go over them one by one and this is personally just what helps me mentally glow up and they've always helped me and it's something I wanted to do for the new year and set it as a goal so hopefully they really help you guys and the first one that we have is cutting off toxic people I feel like if you want to be in a better mental health you do have to get rid of people that don't bring anything to you they don't um really motivate you they're not really there for you they're just there because they need favors. Be surrounded by people that really do love you and really want to see you do better. And that's just, it makes you feel so much better, you know? Um, The second one is setting boundaries. You know what? I always say, I'm going to um not let my friend do this anymore. And then later on, I forgive her. You know, you have to be very straight up and forward about setting boundaries and not like change your mind later on you have to be very firm of them that way you gain the respect that you deserve from people journaling kind of like organizing your day or writing notes because i forget a lot of stuff throughout the day so that helps me a lot it helps me clear my mind because i can always say oh let me look back at my planner or at my journal and I know that my errands for that day will be done because I won't forget them this time. The fourth one is stopping bad habits. I feel like spending money is one of the biggest bad habits that a lot of people tend to have. And, you know, that takes a very bad toll on your mental health. Because later on you're just struggling. You're like, I spent money that I don't have anymore. And, you know, just get rid of that. Get rid of letting bad people in your life of partying too much drinking too much smoking too much do things that are better going to the gym eating healthier just create new habits you know um the fifth one is get rest it is always it's okay to take a break you don't always have to be on the go you need a day for yourself to clear your head to focus on yourself because if you don't do that you're gonna be overworked and it's just gonna stress you out a lot and a day to yourself is great you can restart and the next day start fresh for a new week or whatever you want you know a self-care day a pampering day just whatever you think is best if you want to just sleep in and stay home all day and sleep that is perfect no one should be able to tell you like oh why are you taking a break you know it's that's all you and the last one that I have struggled with my whole life is don't be a people pleaser. You know, I struggled with that my whole life because people would take advantage of me. They wouldn't respect me. They'd always come to me for favors. And when I needed them, they were never there. They were too busy. They couldn't do it. They didn't have the money. They'd always want money from me, you know. And you just need to focus on making yourself happy and not always trying to make everyone else happy. Because you're first and at the end of the day all we have is ourselves so i hope you guys can really put these um tips or even have them as like a new year resolution and set them up as goals for the rest of the year because it really will help your mental health and just overall just focus on yourself and you know do it for you don't do it for anyone else and yeah so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one. Mm -hmm.